So I arrived yesterday and last night I walked around. I showed you what I ate. I had to eat all by myself. But I have ended up meeting this German uh, brother and sister. And so it was really nice chatting with them for a while. They're doing scuba diving today and I'm just gonna be relaxing a bit. <laughs> Um, the city was a bit much for me and also I was staying in a cramped dorm room so um, that's why you run away to the island and the beaches so that you can enjoy tranquility. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what kind of breakfast I just made for myself. I usually bring some granola or muesli, right? And then I have some nuts. And yesterday at the market I found I always buy like the whole thing. Even if I can't finish it, you know, I can give it to someone. For this, I paid 40,000 dong, so that's like about a dollar or something. I mean, yeah, not yet too long. And also I paid for this ripe pineapple that's, that's cut already. It's like super sweet. I'm lactose intolerant, but I like to treat myself sometimes, so I got myself some milk. Plain milk, not sweet. Mm -hmm. I love milk. I love milk so much. But I've grown to be intolerant as I grow older. It makes me far I usually call these like little king bananas. I don't know what they call them here, but it should be really sweet. Skin is really thin. You can see the skin is really thin. So there's a lot of meat on this baby banana here. Look at how yellow it is. It's really good. Just a few nuts. Here I have passions on these and So just a little bit. You see my cup is getting pretty full. Um, and this is as healthy as I'm gonna get on this trip. Um, I'm not on a diet or anything, but breakfast food is the same as um, all the other foods that, that are available throughout the day, like pho or any kind of soup noodle, which I'm also totally fine with. But. Bigger. 